Full of shit. What doesn't kill you doesn't make you stronger. What doesn't kill you mutates and fucking tries again. I'm Yu Tian Fan. I'm from China. I'm Chinese. And no, I don't like balloons. Okay, stop asking me that. But uh, if a if a white person asks me, Yu Tian, are you Chinese? Where are you from? I'll say I'm Korean. How dare you to assume shit? I'll do anything to fuck with white people. It's really fun. You gotta try it. I really don't like the uh, the stereotype against Asian people having small dicks. I mean, it's mostly true. But do you know the world is mostly Asian? So it's pretty obvious who's doing the raw dogging. Okay, let's get that straight. So、uh, I moved to Durham about two months ago, and I really like it. I really like Durham.、Uh, Durham is nice when you walk into a neighborhood in Durham, and you see these Black Lives Matter signs, and you're like, "Oh, this is a white neighborhood." I had no idea. I had no idea. I used to live in Chapel Hill.、Uh, that's where rich white,、uh, rich Asian people live. But don't get me wrong, the crazy rich Asians live in Cary. Okay, it's a very big difference. Very big difference. So I moved to the U.S. about ten years ago.、Uh, I learned my English from watching Hollywood TV and movie shows, right? So you have to forgive me if I don't look you into your eyes when we speak, because the subtitles are at the belly. <laughs> That's where I look. <laughs> But、uh, as an immigrant, you know English is not my first language, so it gets tricky sometimes when I try to speak. This one time after a comedy show, my buddy came up to me and said, "You think that was a good set?" So I wanted to say you made my day. I actually ended up saying you dicked my maid, <laughs> which is not great, not great. So uh, uh, any people, any married people here? I, I know you guys.、Uh, 42 years. That was great. That was awesome.、Uh, single people, single folks. Yeah. yeah. Give it up to yourself. I am. I am happily married. I'm married.、Um, My wife is very supportive of me of my comedy. She bought me this notebook to writing. That's really awesome. We were at Staples and、uh, I saw this notebook. I was like, "Oh, babe, we should get this notebook. It has the leather covers and everything. This is really nice." And she was like, "Oh, babe, I don't think your jokes are worth a ten-dollar notebook." <laughs> She's very supportive. And、uh, right. About five minutes ago, she wanted to make sure everybody know that she didn't pick big dicks. <laughs> that was her choice. I'm okay with it though. I'm okay with it. We got married during lockdown, so we got married during、uh, April 2020. Remember those? You know when we were told to stay the fuck home, right? <laughs> actually, when I thought about it, our wedding was actually in 2016. I just felt like I was only just. Getting to know her during quarantine. Like every day, I wake up. I'm like, "Wow, you're still here. <laughs> This is fucking it." <laughs> I also learned that、uh, our ways of expressing our aggressions are very different, right? When I get mad, I just slam the door, storm out, and、uh, very occasionally I'll punch the wall. When she gets mad, she gets very quiet. And she puts on this television show. I don't know if y'all watched it. You should though. It's called Why Women Kill. <laughs> It's about these women <laughs> killing their husbands and getting away with it. That's, that's lifetime. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you stay away from her. <laughs> Holy shit. I just took the trash out. You know, it's it's not worth it, fellas. I'm I'm too young to die. I'm not ready for that stuff. I mean, she's gonna get away with it. She's learning from the best, right? Oh, this is gonna be a very hard car ride home. <laughs> Cheats. Um, so, <laughs> so we moved to North Carolina about five years ago, and I have to say, the food here is fucking amazing. You guys got it right. 
I mean, sex is great, but have you had fried chicken on the waffle? <laughs> that shit's like having sex on the waffle. That should be the name of the dish, sex on the waffle. I also learned that uh, the only thing you need to say to piss off for North Carolina is just to say the Carolinas. That's how much we hate our southern neighbor. We're like the Connecticut in the South, you know. The state motto of South Carolina is, while I breathe, I hope. The state motto of North Carolina, on the other hand, is, well, you can fucking hope we're not letting you in. <laughs> Doesn't that feel great? to hate someone with pure hatred, you know? Nothing matters. <laughs> you wanna hear another fun joke about state models? Yes. The state model of New Mexico is, it grows as it goes. Now, I don't know what's wrong with you, New Mexico, but don't sweat it, man. It happens to the best of us. Maybe it was the drinks. Maybe it was just pressure. It happens to the best of us. If you haven't noticed, that was a dick joke. <laughs> but if you don't like dick jokes, that joke was about economical growth, okay? Goes both ways, goes both ways. So I have a PhD in nuclear science. So I'm a doctor, but not a real doctor, you know what I mean? Like if someone is having a heart attack right now, the best I can do is, oh, that sucks, bro. What am I gonna do, right? <laughs> But I feel like not having, not practicing medicine is working out for me as a comedian. I mean, can you imagine your surgeon being your comedian? You could go into the hospital for a colonoscopy. I was gonna explain what that is for young people, but I feel like you guys should know it. You guys get it, you know? You go into the hospital for a colonoscopy, you see your comedian that's gonna operate on you. And you just remember he did a joke about fucking with white people a couple of nights ago. It's not so funny when you're being fucked with it, is it? I do prostate cancer research, but I don't like to talk about it, and this is why. Uh, this one time I was at the brewery, I was waiting for my friends, so I just started talking with this guy at the bar. As soon as he found out that I do prostate cancer research, he said to me, bro, I have stopped masturbating completely. Do you think that will lower my risk of prostate cancer? I said, bro, I just fucking met you. I don't even know your name. I'm just trying to eat these fluffles, okay? And this, I, I swear this is what he said. Speaking of balls, I got this weird thing on my balls. Do you mind taking a look at it? Oh, man. That is why I have started telling people that I do breast cancer research. I don't mind that as much. Girls be like, Yutian, I got this weird thing on my boobs. Do you mind taking a look? I'll be like, ugh, oh, let me get my hand sanitizer. <laughs> this one time after a comedy show, a girl came up to me and like, Yutian, you're a doctor, right? I said, yes, I don't have my hand sanitizer though. My hands are kind of cold. She was like, no, no, I didn't mean that. She said, you look like a nerd, so wouldn't that be hilarious if you start telling the dirtiest, dirtiest jokes? And I thought about it, and she was kind of right. So here you fucking go, motherfuckers. <laughs> have y'all noticed Costco switched to paper straws recently? Yeah? I like paper straws. Nothing wrong with paper straws. They're good for the environment. My only problem is, the paper straw going soft before I can finish my drink. I imagine that's how my wife feels sometimes. You know, her straw is going soft before she can quench her thirst. You're really in that situation. I just use my mouth to finish the job, you know? How, how, how's that? How's that, motherfuckers, huh? So I'm trying to get fit, I'm trying to work out, I'm trying to work out, I'm trying to you know, be a better person. But I feel like the fitness industry is out to get us. The whole thing is a scam, you know? Like I was at a gym uh, a few days ago and I measured my body fat to be 30%. So I have a 30% body fat, which is not bad. I'm okay in the South, I'm okay here. I fit in, I fit in. 
We were far away from Harp, Alabama, man. But I also learned in science class that human body is about 70% water. So I'm just a big fat can of chicken stock, you guys. Just fucking fat and water. It just doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. But I, I tried to work out. I uh, bought myself an Apple Watch to help me work out. I have to admit, I, uh, I practice my fucking with white people skills with Siri. But Siri is also white, so fuck them. But I really step on my game when I ask Siri to call me motherfucker. Right? This changed the whole dynamic. This is like I hired Samuel Jackson as my personal trainer. I could go out for a run, work out, and my Apple Watch would be like, congratulations on completing your movement ring, motherfucker. Really get the blood pumping. This one time, I went out for a five mile run. When I came back, my Apple Watch was like, you hit at your goals, motherfucker. Very encouraging. But sometimes it gets judgmental and I don't like it. You know, this one time, I was eating a sandwich. And apparently, I was eating the sandwich so violently that my Apple Watch was like, are you working out, motherfucker? Your heart rate is a little high, motherfucker. Breeze, motherfucker, breeze. So, uh, can you guys keep a secret? No. Yeah? All right, this is one last joke. My, I only go to this uh, Asian Chinese hairdresser. Does that make sense? I mean, we all have our own thing, right? I went to a super cut once, and a Nigerian woman there cut my hair so I look like Kim Jong-woo's Chinese cousin. Never fucking again, all right? So I go to this Chinese hairdresser. She's, uh, her name is Linda. And uh, last month when I went, I can tell that she was not in a very good mood. And halfway through the haircut, she broke down and started crying. And I was like, I thought I was supposed to do that? Like, this is one of those situations when you go see your therapist and your therapist started crying, you know what I mean? Obviously, I didn't see that. I didn't say that because she has scissors, right? <laughs> so I asked her, you know, what's going on? What's wrong with you? And she said she's 90% 90, 90 sure that her husband is cheating on her. Poor thing, right? First of all, why the fuck would you cheat on someone who not only is very good with scissors, but also has an extensive collection of scissors? I mean, she fucking cuts things for a living. This is a woman who can cut your dick off and trim the hair at the same fucking time. Stupid. Stupid. So I, so I asked her, you know, is there anything I can do to help you? Know, get your water or something like that? Because she has scissors. I don't want to walk away with half a haircut. And then she said, Yutian, you're my friend, right? I was like, Am I about to get hurt here? <laughs> what's, gonna, what's gonna happen? She said, can you help me gather evidence against my husband? I was like, whoa. Hell yeah. Because, you know, she has scissors. So I said, you know what? We should get a balloon to track his ass. Obviously, I didn't say that. <laughs> she said, you know, can you help me get a GPS device so I can track him? So now I'm in this, right? I'm in this. I'm looking for a GPS device. This is like Spycraft 101. This is fucking awesome. And Donald Trump was right. I am a fucking spy. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to get it for her because she doesn't have Amazon Prime. Duh. So I went back and got her the GPS device. And then last week, I gave it to her. And then a few days ago, she texted me and she said, I think I have evidence. Can you hook me, up, hook me up with a divorce lawyer? So if any of you know a good divorce lawyer, please let me know, because next time I go back, she's going to ask me to go to law school for her. <laughs> Y'all have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming out. My name is Yu Tian Fan. Really appreciate it.